Hi, this is Lee Solden. I'm going to try to teach you some Hindi, okay? Um, first of all, your first instruction. Start listening to the audiobook that I'll attach uh, as a probably in the description of this video, okay? And you start passively listening to it. What does that mean? Excuse me. You're going to have it playing in the same room with you, but completely ignore it. You just want the Hindi to go into your ear for your speech center to start getting used to the pattern a bit, okay? And I want you to do that for like 21 hours. Examples of when you can be doing passive listening are if you're listening to your favorite music. No, not in Hindi, no, no. Or watching your favorite show on, on TV or Netflix. Again, not in Hindi. <laughs> it's whatever you want to watch. In the in the background, you have Hindi playing, and it's kind of low, so that it's not interfering with your enjoyment of the music or the program you're watching. You can also have it playing softly while you're eating your meals, just going about your business during the day. Um, if you're studying something, have it playing lightly in the background. If you're reading a book, have it playing lightly. Falling asleep, have it set to go off. 20 minutes after you get in bed. So, you know, you don't want to have it playing and keeping you awake, right? But can't hurt to fall asleep with it. Listen to Hindi passively, passively like that a lot, like three hours a day at least, and don't plan on stopping. That's the first thing I have you start doing, and you don't stop doing that. And that's true for the next two steps, so the three steps. Next step, start doing ear tuning exercises. First, you do a lot, like an hour a day. And for Hindi, it takes a little longer. Most languages, I want you to do it for nine days, one hour. Most most languages, I say two or three days. But for Hindi, you're going to do it for nine days. And even then, you're not going to stop doing it for an hour a day. You can start learning the Hindi at that point. You'll hear it well enough to start picking it up. But you still need to do an hour a day of ear tuning to Hindi even after the nine days for another nine days. This is a lot more than the average language, but still, we're only talking one hour a day, okay? <laughs> and you don't even have to bother, if you don't want to, you don't have to put any time into learning a single Hindi word until you're hearing it very sharply by these ear tuning exercises. Ear tuning exercises have nothing to do with what the um, Hindi words mean. Instead, I have them represented by English letters as best I can. And you're simply listening to the Hindi being spoken at full speed. We don't, we're not going to talk about common phrases or one word. No, you're hearing someone talking full speed, spend full speed Hindi. And you're trying to follow the what they're saying syllable by syllable by having your eyes move from syllable to syllable on my ear tuning syllables. You don't talk, you're just listening. All my exercises, anything I have you do is listening. You don't do any talking during my exercises. You ever wanna to try to talk Hindi? Fine. But just do my exercises silently, okay? Because they're, they're listening exercises, okay? So let me describe the uh, ear tuning. You simply, Listen very carefully to a 30-second stretch that I'll give you of ear tuning syllables uh, somewhere in the middle of the of the uh, audio book. I'll tell you where the you know, where to go in the audio book. And you start playing at that, 30, at that spot, that 30 seconds, over and over again. 60 straight times, actually. First 10 times, you're going to uh, use your eyes to follow the ear tuning syllables as best you can. You're probably not very well, but you, you you struggle to keep up. And as you struggle to keep up, over time you get a little better and better at it. Maybe it doesn't matter if you do or not. Ear tuning works whether or not you get better at it. This is not training. This is giving your speech center data that it will work on overnight. After nine days, something kicks in. The the speech center has figured it out. And all of a sudden, the, the Hindi starts a lot clearer. Sounds a lot clearer to you. Still missing some of the syllables, though. 
even though it sounds clear. That's why you got to do another nine straight straight days of one hour before you finally start slacking off on the amount of ear tuning you do, okay? Like about the, about the 19th day. Okay, now go down to a half hour day. That's fine. Stay there for a while. A couple months later, go down to 15 minutes a day. A few months later, go down to 10 minutes a day. A few months later, maybe 10 minutes, four days a week. I wouldn't go below that. So for the ear tuning, the amount of time you put on the ear tuning exercises diminishes, but you never stop doing them. And all this time, you still got Hindi going in the background. You have to have the Hindi going in the background for the ear tuning to work fully, okay? There's a combination of things. Every child is both surrounded by their native language and they're hearing constantly repeated phrases. The constantly repeated phrases, that's what my ear tuning syllables are, right? So back to where those 60 times you're repeating the same 30 seconds. First 10 times you're trying your best to follow the syllables. Then 10 times you got your eyes closed and you listen to, the, listen to them carefully. And then you try to follow them 10 times. So it's three cycles of 10 reading, the, I mean, following with, the, with your eyes and 10 of your eyes closed. Three, that's 20 times 3, 60. Total of 60 times. That takes a half hour. You do that in the morning when you wake up. You do it at night before you go to bed. And in between, in between, you got your three hours of listening passively to Hindi. Okay. So after about the ninth day, you go to step three, which you never stop doing. <laughs> this is where you're actually soaking up the language. Okay. But you don't want to stop doing that, right? But you're not going to soak up the language as very fast if you don't continue that ear tuning. I mean, you're ready. You're ready to start soaking it up a bit, but you want you want a better ear for Hindi, and the better it gets, the faster it'll be soaked up by your ear. The better your ear is, the faster you soak the Hindi up. Now, how do you soak the Hindi up? I call these read throughs. Here, I provide you notes of, of, of what the first sentence in a story means. And you, your job, to look at those notes for that one sentence. It's not studying. You're looking at that one sentence. Okay, this sentence means da da da. Oh, that word is this, and that word is that, and all the other sentence means this. Okay, actually, the sentence in this audiobook has the English right at the bottom, but you need to know how the Hindi gets to that English, right? Okay. Um, so I'll be explaining, and you, and I'll, I'll expect you to uh, look over your notes for a, a minute or two. You know, it'll be less and less as you go, but, you know, a couple of minutes, that first sentence. And now you, and maybe I might even, you might even call me directly the first, when you very first start doing this, the first dozen or, or 30 or 40 sentences, whatever. I can just directly work with you even. But it'll be, this information will be on, as a, attached as a, com, a pinned comment to this video. What that first sentence means, second sentence, third sentence, fourth sentence. So what do you what you need to do for a read through is you look at the material just long enough that you understand it. Not we're trying to memorize it. You need to unknow it for the next ten seconds. Now while you under while that ten seconds is going on, you still got in your head what that sentence means. You listen to the Hindi for three times while you're reading it. Well, you might ask, well, how can I read it? Well, ear tuning exercises took care of that. Ear tuning exercise is all about reading those ear tuning syllables, which is a representation of Hindi. So at first, maybe you'll just be reading the ear tuning syllables, but then you're going to transfer that up to Hindi script, okay? But I'm also going to have you transfer it to English letter Hindi, which is very much used. You need to really need to do, you you should know how to read Hindi script, which you don't have to take any time doing because you're going to be doing your uh, both your read throughs. And your ear tuning with that, with the the Hindi script, and with and so, some of the time you'd be using the the English letter representation, which is used when people uh, do uh, text messages all the time to each other. They're using that uh, that that English letter representation. It's a little a little easier because the 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 bulkiness of the Hindi alphabet makes it kind of hard to tap in uh, Hindi across the phone. So they tend to use uh, English letters. So you need you need to learn both. It's not that big of a deal. 
Um, because you're not, rather than study all this stuff, you're going to be simply transferring what you're hearing correctly to the alphabet, to the Hindi alphabet and to the, the um, Hindi words written in uh, uh, English letters, okay? Okay, now, but back to the read-throughs, okay? You've just looked over your notes. Now you're going to read three times that Hindi while you're hearing it. Is this for you directly to learn anything? No. No. Not your, not your, for your conscious mind. It's for your speech center. Everything I do is aimed at your speech center. Your ear tuning exercises, that passive listening, it's all for your speech center. You've just looked at what the sentence means. Now you're hearing it. So you're associating known language to target language. Speech center eats that kind of stuff up. Loves it. It's a language supercomputer, okay? Everybody has one. It just gets stronger and stronger as you grow older, especially as you add more languages. You add your first language. <sighs> they had a second one. You just have to associate between the first and second. Okay. Next, you close your eyes and listen three times carefully. Why? Well, the end result you want is to be able to hear Hindi and understand it. So you got to make sure that you understand it. Now, will you understand it when you first start? Probably not. Not the first few days. Doesn't matter. Again, your speech center will figure it out for you. Every morning when you wake up through this process, you're going to know more Hindi. It's all going to seem more natural to you because your brain's busy at night putting things together for you, building paradigms, make it all seem natural to you when you hear Hindi. Oh. Okay, so this is how all languages go, by the way. The only difference with Hindi compared to most is the uh, time it takes the initial ear tuning. But hey, what's 18 days times one hour? I mean, compared to the other languages, two or three hours, and they're set, and then they can, they can start reducing. Well, Hindi, you got you to gotta stay with it for 18, uh, one hour a day for 18 days. Overall, that's not a whole lot more than any other language, right? Once you get a really good ear for Hindi, just like if you get a good ear for French or a good ear for Spanish, then you pick it up just as fast as any language. There's no difference. Um, and that's about it. Um, hey, if you like this video, uh, you know, hit the like button, share it. Uh, what else can you do? Uh, oh, look around my channel, share my channel page. That'd be nice. Uh, let me see here. Um, hey, comment. Tell me where you are in Hindi. Um, you, any, how you how you how you think my presentation is, uh, etc. Um, okay, and oh, subscribe. Bye.